In this demo, we will create a multi-line motor overload schematic from our symbol library in our ePlane Electric P8 software. To start, we'll start the software. Into our top left, we'll hit the project to create a new project. When this tab drops down, you click New, and you name your new project in there. We will call this project as demo underscore project. And as for the template, we will use the NFPA template that is set, saved in our system. We'll hit open and then we'll click OK. This will create a new project in Electric PA. And you will see this new project created in your page navigator. So we have the project created. This tab will open, which will have all the properties of the project. We'll hit OK. And there you have the new project created in your page navigator. Within this project, we'll create a multi-line schematic page. So to create a new page, we'll go on the page on top. Right click on it, create a new page. For the full page name, we'll use it at 01. Page type will be multi-line schematic. And page description is demo underscore motor overload. schematic. As for the plot frame, we will use the plot frame of fn underscore 003 underscore 2 to have a dual page for the NFPA standard and we will hit OK. And this will create a new page within the project. So now we can start placing the symbols and start creating the schematic. So to do so, we'll start off by placing the potential connection points we go on the insert tab on top we scroll down and pick the potential connection points when you select the potential connection point you can start placing those point, uh, connection symbols uh, on your schematic page you can pick the right period variance by hitting the tab and it will move the symbol in any variance you like. So once you have the right variance for the symbol, you can place that symbol on the page. And within the properties component, you can start putting the name tags for the symbols. So for the symbol, I will name it as A1. And then E1 Electric P8 gives you an option of keep placing that symbol until you press A. So I'm going to place it one more time. Since this is a three-phase motor overload, I'm going to call it A2. And then another one, call it A3. After the potential connection points, we're going to start placing the protection devices. So I'm going to start off with the fuses. So I will go on Insert tab again. Select Symbol. And within these symbols, we, under the demo project, we have the NFPA symbols. So within the NFPA symbol, I will go to Electrical Engineering. We'll drop down on that. And within those, you will have all these options. And under those options, I'm going to select the protection devices. And I'm going to select safety fuse that I need to put uh, in my schematic. So I'm going to go with three triple safety fuse. And I'm going to select the first one. Just like the uh, connection points, you have the option to change the variance on this too. You hit tab. You align it with connection point, And there you have your safety fuses. Uh, for this, I will not change the display tag for this one. I will keep what was assigned to it, and I'm just going to hit OK. After this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the circuit breaker. I'm going to go back into the Insert tab, go to Symbols again, close all the options that were open before, and then under the Protection Devices, I'm going to select Circuit Breaker. And I'm going to select the Triple Circuit Breaker because it's a three-phase. So within this, I'm going to put the circuit breaker that I need to put. You have multiple options in there too. You can pick any of these options. So I'm going to pick the pick this option and hit OK. And start placing this breaker over here. I'm going to use the display tag that was provided for this one too. So I'm just going to hit OK and hit Escape. After this, I'm going to place the motor in place. So I'm going to go back to Insert, Symbol, Close the options that were open before. 
and then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna close this then I'm gonna go to motors power consumer motor heating light I'm gonna drop down this I'm gonna select the motors and within the motors you have different options in there too so I'm gonna pick the right motor that I need for the schematic which is this one right here. I'm gonna hit okay. Uh, with the motor, you can do the same thing. You can hit tab and it will change the variance on it. You align the motor with the breaker. And when you make the right connection, you just hit right click on it. I'm gonna use the display device tag that was provided for the motor too and hit okay. After this, you have to make connection point so we're going to start doing those connection points. You go on insert, you go on connection symbols, and then you have different angles for your connections. I'm going to use the angle upright and start making these connections. So the first fuse connects with the first breaker, second fuse for the second breaker, and the third fuse for the third breaker. And there you have a whole motor overload schematic in place from our symbol library. If you're interested in learning more about E-Plan Electric PA, please visit us online to book a virtual training. Link is in the description below. Thank you.